Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my in-depth guide video for all of the stats that you're going to be wanting to know for Anna. And first off, I do want to say that there are a lot of different sites that uh, record different stats. I have hand-tested all of these stats myself, so I know that they are correct as of right now. Of course, you know, if there's a patch later on, I'll update the description box on that. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it with her basic attack which is her uh, weapon that is the Biotic Rifle. So, uh, this is an interesting gun. It actually can heal and damage. So it's going to heal your own ally. So if you go ahead and shoot your own ally, it's going to heal them. And then if you go ahead and shoot an enemy, what's going to happen is it's going to do a damage over time. It's 80 damage. It's relatively quick though, so it's not like a dot we're going to have to wait for it. Uh, but it does do 80 damage over time. It's overall 0.9 seconds, but uh, it does 80 damage to your opponents and it's going to heal for 75. The reload is 1.5 seconds. The uh, hit scan is only on zoom. So if I was to shoot this target that's kind of far away, you'll see that it takes some time before it actually reaches. But if I go ahead and scope in, the damage is going to be immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this target over here. So you'll see the damage is immediate if it's uh, on zoom. So again, the targets are super far away. Yeah, you're going to obviously want to zoom if they're close up to go ahead and just hip fire the gun. But uh, yeah, and then also in addition to that, uh, it has eight uh, shots in the uh, clip, and if you want to fire as soon as you zoom in, what you can do is you can uh, start your scope in animation, and then you can hold down whatever key that you have for shoot, which is usually left click. So you would you would go ahead and right click, and you would hold down um, your shot, so you can utilize that. Uh, and also, I do want to mention that she gets no multiplier for headshots. You'll see over here. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy in the body. And you'll see if I shoot uh, this one, it's going to do the same amount of damage, regardless if I hit a headshot or not. Let's go ahead and kill both the targets so I can show you. It's going to take the same amount of shots, uh, whether I shoot them in the head or the foot, it's a flat amount of damage. Even though in Blizzard's like video when they showed her off, they were showing her getting headshots. So you see this is one, and there's one on that one. You can see the health is the same, and I'll go for headshots once again. And you can see the HP is the same, and of course it's going to finish them off. So it's a three shot kill on eight. HP is 200 or under, and like I said, it does 80 damage over short duration. It's 0.9 seconds, so it's pretty much instant, but an off chance that Lucio, like, you know, uh, is healing, then, you know, that can change up your integers. But yeah, uh, you definitely want to be zooming in if the target is super far away, because it's going to change it to a hit scan. Her next ability is the Sleep Dart. So what this does is it puts a target to sleep. The target can't do anything, uh, but if they take any damage, it will break. Uh, and that doesn't mean that uh, only uh, you can deal damage to them to wake them up. Anyone deals, dealing damage to them can wake them up. Uh, it does 5 damage, so that's at least nice that it does some amount of damage. Uh, but it's very mediocre. But uh, it sleeps them for 5.5 seconds. And then uh, it won't do any uh, bonus on a headshot damage. So you cannot headshot with it. And it breaks, again, if the target takes any damage from any source. Um, but I'll show you guys a full burst combo on a 200 or under uh, target. You can actually full burst them as a healer, which is actually pretty cool. But uh, I'll show you guys that once we get to the uh, uh, section where I'm going to go over that. But uh, next up, she has the uh, Biotic Grenade. So it deals 60 damage. Now this one does uh, take some time to reach the target, plus it does kind of arc. So over longer distances, you're going to have to try to angle it. Uh, but it uh, deals 60 points of damage, and it's an AoE, so you can actually hit multiple targets with it. And what it does is it heals for 100, and it increases, if it hits your allies, it's going to increase all healing uh, that that target receives by 100%. So uh, if I shoot them, it's going to heal them for double, essentially. Uh, or if they're getting uh, healed by anything else, they're just going to get double healing. Uh, and then also, enemies cannot be healed. So if you're in a group of, you know, a cluster, maybe a Zarya ult, you can go ahead and utilize that. And then so if someone's trying to heal them, it's not going to heal them. Uh, and then uh, it lasts five seconds long. So it's a really good ability. You can also use it on yourself. So you can see over here, I'll make it so these targets uh, cannot be healed. Um, and then I will we'll also see the little like arrows going up. And that's indicating that I have that uh, healing buff. So if anything heals me, I'm going to be healed essentially for 100% more. So that's really good. Uh, and then um, we also have Nano Boost uh, as her ultimate ability. And so that's going to buff the targeted ally. And that's going to give them 50% extra uh, damage. And it's also going to give them 50% damage reduction. So that's going to reduce the amount of damage that they take. Now you do have to have vision of this target, but it's basically a hit scan. So uh, you'll see over here, you generally want to be able to see the center mass of the target. That's what's going to give you the ability to use it. But uh, you'll see that even if I... Uh, let's, let, me, let me try to show it off. If I can uh, 
cast it, and I can go through the wall. It doesn't really matter. It, the, the the projectile that you're seeing, it doesn't actually have to like reach the target. Something can block it. It's not gonna uh, change it. An enemy can't get it, by the way. Um, uh, I'm actually, I don't know if, because it is a hit scan. Um, you know what? We we need to do. I'll update you guys on the description box of this because I didn't even think about this and uh, until now, because it is hit scan. I didn't even think that like Genji could do anything with it, but it does show that a projectile goes out. Uh, I'll update you guys on that, or you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Can Genji reflect this because it's a hit scan? I, I actually have no idea on that. But uh, anyways, it buffs the targeted ally for 50% damage, uh, and it gives them 50% damage reduction, and it also gives them 30% movement speed in that last 8 seconds. But like I said, I apologize for not getting that stat on Genji. If he can reflect that or not, um, I'll update you guys on the description box below. If any of you guys know that, uh, I haven't tested that out because, like I said, it was a hit scan, so I was like, "Oh, I shouldn't need to test it." But it does actually shoot out, and uh, like, y if you do it in in game, sometimes what will happen is I wanted to try to show you guys if if I could shoot it through the wall. It doesn't actually need to like hit the target. That's why I'm thinking that Genji shouldn't be able to reflect because I think it, that's just visual. It's not actually uh, a projectile going out. But nonetheless, that that is her ultimate uh, ability. And uh, lastly, I do want to show you guys some cool like tips and tricks. Uh, this is just the tip that I have for you guys to full burst a target. So I'll do it on a uh, let's do it on target that's not moving. I'll do it really slow, and then we'll do it really fast on the other one. So first off, what you're gonna do is put the target to sleep. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and shoot melee grenade melee, and that's going to burst a target down. What you want to do though is you want to get behind the target. So let's do it on a, an actual target. And I'll do it a little bit faster. You want to get behind the target to full burst them, though. The reason why you want to uh, get behind the target is because as soon as they get up, they're, of course, going to move because they were just put to sleep. They're probably mashing on their keyboard to try to, like, you know, spam jump or something. So we'll do go ahead and do it on uh, one of these training bots. And we'll put it to sleep and we'll full burst it. And like I said, you want to get behind the uh, target. That's uh, due to uh, the ability to try to get in that other melee. But you can see how fast you can burst a target down. Um, in addition to this, a great little tip is if you are uh, having an Ana put something to sleep on your team, if it's a, a target that you guys don't need to focus on, feel free to not shoot the target. Feel free to put that target to sleep so it's not doing any DPS to your team, and then you can focus on the other target. Uh, an excellent example of this would be, say, a Winston ult. Put that target to sleep, ignore the Winston, kill everyone else, and then you can, you know, 6v1 the Winston when he's the only person left. It does put them to sleep for quite some time, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely utilize that to your advantage. Don't go ahead and be a reaper and shoot like like. Let's say that this this target was put to sleep. Let's say that this target over here was essentially. Oh, I wanted to try to get cheeky and try to see the hitbox on that. But uh, nonetheless, uh, if you put a target to sleep uh, that's super far away and let's say a reaper shoots them, it'll wake them up regardless if it does like one you know one or two damage. Uh, you definitely want to be able to utilize that so like if the target's super far away and you know maybe your Widowmaker, yeah definitely line up that headshot go for it but uh if the if you're like a reaper don't try to wake up the target that would be not so effective but yeah once again i'll just go ahead and show you guys that combo uh it's you put him to sleep you shoot melee grenade melee and that's gonna kill him uh one thing to note with her animations you can cancel the after you shoot you can cancel an animation by immediately shooting but after your gr your grenade you cannot shoot you cannot melee immediately after there's a short duration so essentially you can't animation cancel that but with her gun you'll see over here that i shoot there's a small period where i can't really do anything so they've really neutered her animation canceling you can basically only animation cancel at her shots so you can shoot and then melee immediately after but anyways that's the full in-depth uh video for anna as far as the stats goes like i said uh if you guys know what happens with genji uh, let me know in the comment section below, but I'll definitely test that out and I'll also update the description, but uh, you guys let me know, I guess, maybe what you guys think would happen with that. But anyways, like I said, there's a lot of different websites that have different stats, and that's because uh, Anna has gone through multiple changes uh, throughout her, like, life cycle, and on top of that, during the, the video where they even announced her, uh, when they were shooting, her ammo count was actually going down by two, which is actually kind of interesting, but uh, nonetheless, like I said, she's gone through multiple iterations, and, you know, obviously, if they're patching the game, some of these stats will change, and I'll update you guys through the description box. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys learned something new. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm signing out.